Hey, what's going on with everybody? This is Kelby Cannon, publisher of Making a Magazine. Um, wanted to do a quick post for all of our members and even just regular site users. Um, the main benefit of what we try to do with the site is to really, really help independent artists. And when I say artists, this goes for producers, this goes for DJs, this goes for anyone who has a personal brand that they're looking to manage within the urban music industry. Um, the big benefit of what we do with the site. Uh, a lot of people look at the performance opportunities and contests and different things that we do, but the biggest thing that we do is really help um, independents uh, really manage their PR to a certain extent and get more exposure. Um, we have a, a PR team that works consistently with bringing DJs, bloggers, and different tastemakers to the site. And the way that we have the site set up, rather than selling um, posts and things like that, we set it up where anyone who has uh, new music, videos, um, anything going on in your career, you can actually post that stuff up on the site for free. So all of these people that you see here in the wire um, were posted up for free. Um, this is the featured section. Uh, then you have the all updates, which is everyone. Um, the updates that make it onto the featured page, that front page, are uh, the ones that I actually just selected out by our review team and our editors. So they consistently go through the updates from members, and if they see something that's particularly interesting, uh, then they'll go ahead and they may feature it on the front page, which includes it being blasted on Twitter and Instagram and what have you. Um, so, but this is the page, the, the wire with everyone's thing, uh, with everyone's updates. And what you'll notice is every, everyone has an image, a headline, and then there's a category. And then if you click into it, let's see you'll see that you have the the actual update on its own page and kind of a blurb about what's going on and then you have an optional link that a person can click to and they can go and actually check out the video or the music or whatever that particular update was about and so it's very important that you you pay attention and take note of those those main um, parts of the update. Um, this is a way for you to tell your story, and that's kind of what we wanted to do with the making a mag site was really just to give you guys an outlet where you can post updates about your music, about your career, but not like you do on social media. Um, these updates are the way it's set up. You can only submit an update once every 30 days. So with that in mind, uh, we want you to really just take a little more time to think through the post that you're putting up, um, picking out a good image for the post, um, coming up with a good headline for the post, um, putting the update or the post in the right category is it a new release is it something about you networking is it about a music video release whatever it is uh, because that also helps us um, segment things out and, and filter them out for submissions to other blogs and the different people who come across the site they can find exactly what it is that they're looking for and that's how we're able to help independent artists get featured on other blogs that's how we're we go through and look for um, artists to feature in the magazine, in the email blast, uh, the various promotional outlets that we do for free. And that's the big thing is we do that for free. Uh, what I want to do right now is uh, I'm just going to log in and walk you through the process of submitting an update. And I'm just going to log in under... Uh, one of the beta accounts and so I've logged in um, nothing much has changed except this menu up here and I can come to my account or my profile and you'll see is most important thing what I tell people is um, 
we're utilizing the site, make sure that you upload a profile pic and take some time just to fill out your profile, just a brief introduction to yourself uh, so that people, when they come to your profile, they have a summary of who you are and what you do. Um, with the profile pic, don't use the same picture that you're using in your updates. Don't change your profile pic to your um, album cover or a flyer or anything like that. Uh, you want your profile pic to be a picture of you. You're working on your personal brand. That's the, <clears throat> that's the whole thing that we're getting you to do is to start seeing yourself as a brand and promoting yourself as a brand. What it is that you do, what additional skills that you have. Um, let the people know a little bit about you. And all of the updates that you submit, they'll show in this timeline, which uh, kind of turns into a, uh, uh, an EPK of some sorts that lets people know what you've been up to over time and important things, not just a million posts uh, to the same song for a month and then next month you're on to a new mixtape and now you have a million links to mixtape the mixtape it's about taking note of some of the the more important things that you've done um as you can see i haven't updated this uh, that often this was just really a test account uh, to let people get an idea of how to best use um, the updates so but what i'm going to do now since I haven't submitted an update in a while, I'm going to go to my updates. And I'm just going to click here to submit a new one. And just a little intro text. Um, actually, this part needs to be updated. Um, but when you're posting your updates, um, the updates that you submit, I like to start off with just picking the image. Um, open and I'll upload it and let's see and find a category for this now what I have coming up this is actually an event. Uh, I'll be participating in an event that um, Jay Harris is doing. Okay, so I'm going to select the event and then you see by default it selected the whole image but if I wanted to I could just crop it to just include um, a smaller section of the image. Um, this is the area where you crop it, and this is the actual preview of what's going to show up on your post. So I selected an event and category. Um, now, here's the big thing when you're doing these updates, you want to write them in the third person, you don't want to write them. <clears throat> Even though you may be writing about yourself, you don't want to write them as if you're writing it about yourself. So rather than me saying, I'll be um, on a panel listening to music or anything like that, uh, speak on myself in the third person, Kelby Cannon will be appearing, that type of thing. Um, so what I'll do is I'll start off with a headline. And the headline is very important because as you saw previously, when we can open up these updates that's the first thing that people well the second thing first they're gonna see the image so it's important to pick out a good image but then the only way that they're really gonna know what the update is about is through your headline so you wanna make sure that your headline is as descriptive as possible um, don't just and and I'll show you in a couple of examples of uh, not so descriptive headlines uh, which uh, Queen Royal. I don't know what that's about. Uh, Tulsa artists roll up a little better. Chaos. Don't really know what that's about. I'm going to assume that's his name. It could just easily be the name of the project since it is an upcoming release. That's the category it's in. So 
what you want to do is make sure that your title is very descriptive because that title will not only show up in the the wire and uh, but it'll also show up when we if it's selected <clears throat> to be posted on social media in our RSS feed possibly in the email blast um, or RSS feed on another person's site because we have some uh, media partners who actually just pull our feed and will just repost certain things so it's important that you you take some time you only have 64 characters so you can't um, get too descriptive everything we do we try to limit you to make sure that you're really thinking things out when you're when you're writing and posting stuff so for this um All right, so there we have it. Uh, you see, I, I went through the revisions, switching the wording around, trying to get it as descriptive as possible in a small amount of space because that that headline is going to appear, like I said, in a lot of different places. And it, outside of the flyer, like it's one of the very first things that people will see, which will uh, really where they'll make their decision whether or not they're going to click on that update to see more of what's going on so now when it comes to the actual update um, that's where we have a little more room we have uh, 512 characters to describe what's going on and to really sell people on whatever the update is about so whether it's a single it's uh, a, a video release it's um, some media coverage that you received um, some developments in your career this is where you really sell people on it and you explain in more detail and if it's like something where it's like a video or something like that where you're gonna have a link right here that you want them to click on you want to be really as descriptive as possible and tell people um, about how the video is doing how the release has been coming together um, to really incentivize and make them want to click that link to get more information about what you have going on rather than just you know a bunch of hashtags or just saying this is the new single check it out tell them why they're gonna wanna check it out tell them what you have going on with it so that's what I'm about to do right now is uh, I'm gonna take some time and kinda put something together All right, so there we have it. I put together um, just a quick summary of the event and how I'm involved in the event. Um, and that's one of the big things I show it with this is a lot of times um, the the updates that you post don't all ha always have to be completely centered around you. It can be centered around your participation in something that's bigger. Um, even, for instance, uh, if you're doing something with just performing at a toy drive talk about the actual toy drive and the company and build up the brand of the company that has you involved and then segue into how you were involved and why you got involved and the good things that the overall company is doing because you you do two things you help strengthen your own brand and you help strengthen someone else's brand and by putting them in, a, in the in your update they're receiving that free post on the site right along with you and that's just an additional person that will be more likely to to post and re um, post and promote that update as well. So if you look at here the update you have last month, I'm Jay Harris officially launched the Put Me on K100 listening session, bringing in some of Atlanta's top tastemakers. The event gave independent artists a platform to network and get genuine feedback on their music. 
receiving rave reviews from all in attendance. Jay has scheduled the next taping for December 18th at Live Hip Hop Daily Studios in Atlanta and enlisted aid of Making It Magazine CEO Kelby Canick as one of his panelists. For event details or info on presenting music, click below. And that's just very uh, a very simple uh, summary of the event, what's going on. Um, how I'm involved, I'm on the flyer and everything. And then the link that I put here, I, I can put a link to the actual event. Let's see if there's a event on there. Let's see. Let me jump over to the event section and see if it's listed on the site yet. Yeah. If not, I may just need to leave that uh, that portion of it empty. So the event doesn't appear to be listed on the site yet. He hasn't submitted it and posted it up on the site yet. So for right now, what I'll do is I'll just save this. And <clears throat> anytime you're posting an uh, update, notice it. what it says. Member update uh, has been created. And then it says this update is currently saved as a draft and only visible to you. Please review it carefully for errors before publishing it to the wire. If you need help with wording, get one of our publicists to revise it for you. So what you'll see here is this page is only visible to me. Right now, it is only visible to me. And the reason why that is is because um, it gives you an opportunity to look over it and make sure that your wording is right. Um, check for any errors. If you see an error, then you can quickly, quickly just click edit and revise it. Maybe you didn't crop the image right. You can go back in there, revise it. Maybe you don't like the headline. Go back in there and revise it. But it gives you a chance to do all of that before um, you actually publish it. And it's very important that you do that. Now, if you were to share that link, this is what people would see because the update is not published. You choose when that update gets published. Um, read through it, everything looks fine to me, so I'm just gonna come here and click post to the wire. And now that message disappears. The update is officially posted now. And if I click right here, we'll open it in a new window. If I was to share that link, people would be able to access it. They would see what's going on and right now and if I'm go if I go to the wire you'll see now my update is here in the wire and so that's pretty much it that's all it is to posting an update and so we got a good image we got a, a headline what the category is so I click into it and I can see the actual update what it's about um, this is something I can like and share and repost um, and you'll see some of the featured updates scrolling on the side but if I if you ever see an update that interests you you can click on that individual's page and then it takes you to their profile and you see their most recent update but then you see the other stuff that they've been doing and so this is really important for you to keep posting as many updates as possible about things that you've been doing that are of importance or accomplishments in your career because uh, that's what we look at when we're looking for people to feature in the magazine when we're looking for people that we're going to feature in the magazine um, as far as artists um, when you submit for various um, when you submit for various projects um, opportunities and things of that nature uh, the review team, if they're checking out your music and it comes down to you and a few other people, um, definitely going to look at your profile and see how active you are and what you're working on and what kind of moves that you're making with your music. So you definitely want to make sure that your profile is reflective of the level of activity and your commitment towards your music. Uh, so if you if you have uh, a new project, make sure it's posted up. If you've done a radio interview, post up about the radio interview. If you have new management, post up about your new management situation. Um, let people know about all of these, these milestones and achievements that you're making in your career.
um, that's pretty much everything. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick run through on that um, so that you have a, a, a better understanding of how the update system works.